Welcome back to the Overcomfort Podcast with your host, Jenica Lopez. That is me. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you have given the podcast so far. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review on whatever platform you guys are listening on. I'm super excited because today I have a guest that I have been wanting to get on the podcast for so long, and I'm so happy that we saved her for season two. We have my dear friend, Shadi Bay. Hello, guys. Let's meet Shadi Bay. <laughs> Shadi Bay. Well, her name is Jasmine Orlando, right? Yep. She's from Minnesota. She's a daughter. She's a sister. She's a TikTok sensation. She's a friend, my friend specifically. We could be besties. Are we besties? We could yes, say we're besties. we're best friends for yeah. life. There we go. Social media influencer. She just moved to LA. We're so, so excited. We've been helping her out and guiding her on the right path. She's got like 1.6 million followers. 28,000 subscribers. A lot of people love Shadi Bay, especially me. Um, she loves dancing. What else? Makeup. What else do you like doing? I like dancing, makeup, and um, going shopping. I oh, like yeah. shopping a lot. She really likes shopping. Yeah, I love shopping. The time that she's been in LA, she every day she wants to go to the mall. And then when she like leaves somewhere, she always leaves the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well... Let's get into it. We're going to talk about self-image, okay? Because I love the way you are. You're so beautiful and you have a beautiful heart. And I feel like a lot of people don't know that. I feel like, you know, you're funny, you're charismatic, you're authentic. You, uh, you're you definitely not trying to be somebody else, right? And you come from a small town in Minnesota. Yep. Right? So how did you come up with the idea or like... Starting your videos, you just said like one day that, oh, I'm going to just record this video of me dancing and then like that. So basically how I started is um, I felt really alone and I needed someone to like care about me. Like, you know, um, I started off like I went to like school and I didn't even have friends, to be honest with you. I don't like making friends because I don't know. One time when I was in fifth grade, they like um, so I liked this guy and then. They like they told me that he liked me too, but he didn't. He didn't even like me like that. Mm -hmm. And they were just playing with my feelings. And then, like from there, I just felt alone. And like I didn't even tell my parents about that when that happened. Like I didn't mm -hmm. have no one to trust and talk about this. But and then I just wanted to start social media because like I just wanted people to care about me and to like like be there for me, you know. Yeah. But. The, yeah that's how i started i started um my cousin sent me to like musically back then mm. and then i started off there and then i met jose there he'd been my best friend since then and he always there for me and i really appreciate him to be honest and people say that i'm ma mean to him that i'm fake to him when i'm not like i love jose jose is my best friend and like i trust him and i tell him everything he was there since day one and he always like give me good advice in life mm. to be honest yeah i love jose he honestly yeah. he's such a sweetheart um so like starting social media and but I love you. I love your energy. I always tell you every time you leave my house, I'm like, I miss Shadi. She makes me laugh. She always like is the life of the party. So being in social media, it's, it gets very dark. You know, you've been in social media for a long time. And like you mentioned that someone hurt your feelings in school. But now in social media, there's a lot more mean comments, yeah. right? I've been there. Everybody around me has been there. How... Has there been like a specific comment or moment that like affected you and your self image, like how you saw yourself? Well, people been calling me names, saying that I'm ugly, saying that I need to lose weight, I look like um, like trolls and stuff like that. But I just tried to those comments not get to me because at the end of the day, I'm who I am, and that's the only thing that matters to me because yeah. only the people that are around me and love me and my supporters, that's the only thing that needs to matter to me because if I listen to them, if I let those get to me, then I'm going to be depressed and sad and all that. But I don't need to be sad because I have my little coconuts to be there for me always. Aww, that's, I really appreciate you guys. That's what that's what I was going to ask you too. How did you come up with the name Coconuts? Well, so basically, um, well, my mom likes eating coconuts, so I was like, 
let me just put this like little coconuts because you guys are like like the sweetest thing so I, w- I just wanted to come up with little coconuts because <laughs> coconuts are really sweet <laughs> do you like coconuts no i don't like <laughs> coconuts i don't oh my gosh okay well let's talk let's talk about it if it's okay with you about your disabilities right yeah you have bell's palsy which bell palsy is basically when half of your half of the side of your face doesn't work as good yeah and with social media it obviously like they point it out don't they yeah remember they pointed it out when i did your makeup they were kind of mean but you guys also i'm not a professional makeup artist she asked me last minute to do her makeup for that event and i was in a rush but she still looked cute you felt cute yeah okay (laughs) so with bell's palsy do you feel like it's harder for you like because you have to also accept yourself but you have to show people that too like out there like does it affect your your world your social media world so when i first had it like i really thought um i was really ugly like to be honest like i really did not like myself i didn't want no pictures with nobody i didn't want to do that but and then i just figured out like i should just love myself how i am because it doesn't matter how i look it matters what i have in my heart what people see me as and i don't care like I don't care how I look anymore because, like, at the end of the day, I'm just myself. And the only thing that needs to matter is myself and other people, like, around me. I love my friends and everybody. Like, it really affected me because people thought, thought I was faking it, that that I'm faking it and stuff like that. And, like, it's sad how people think that I'm lying and stuff. But Bell's palsy is real. And, like, at first, I couldn't, like, eat good. I couldn't even drink water because it was coming out of my mouth i couldn't even keep my eye closed and it was really hard for me because i needed to put tape on my eye to freaking shower it was like really really hard for me oh my god yeah but my mom helped me do massages in my face and then i felt a little bit better and then each day like i keep um like keep getting better and better i went to the hospital and they told me i just need to it needs to take time and get off of my face it's been a couple of months already. i think it's been years already yeah yeah Oh my gosh. Well, you're beautiful either way. Yeah. I think you're beautiful. You have a beautiful heart. And I feel like a lot of people don't see that in you. But maybe that's because I got to know you. And I want people to get the chance to know you through the podcast and hear your story as well. Because, you know, social media obviously has this perception on you and like what they see you as. They think you're mean. They think that you're just, you're not humble. But you guys, she is very humble. She's sweet. She has a strong character, but we're helping her with that and guiding her. And she's just young. You like to have fun. You like to be yourself. Is there a message that you can give girls out there, you know, in, in your position, like self-empowerment? Like what, what, what can you say to them like with similar challenges? Like girls that have problems accepting themselves. Well, I just want to tell you that you're loved by me because, like, you just need to love how you are. That's how, like, your mom made you, like, mm. like take care of you and give you all the love. And you just need to accept who you are because you're amazing no matter if you would make up or not. You're beautiful in your own ways. And if you think that you're not good enough, just look in your mirror and remember that I said you you're loved by me because you're beautiful in the way you are. Don't change over in anybody. Always change because you want to do it. Mm-hmm. Not what other people think about you. Just do it because you want to. Nobody else. Mm-hmm. And that's it. I love that. I love that, Shadi. Speaking of like changing of things that you want to do to yourself. We've talked about it between yeah. me and you, right? Would you ever do anything to your body? Like get anything done? Yes, I want to get a BBL. Really? Yeah. Like mine? Yeah. Really? Yep. Oh my gosh. I want to get like my cherries. Your cherries? Yeah. I want to do mine too because mine, you know. Mine is saggy. Not got to lie. Sorry about that one. (laughs) (laughs) Have you, do you feel like you're doing it because of social media or because you want to do it for yourself? Because I want to do it for myself. I think I did it for myself too. When I, because I had lost a lot of weight. I lost like 70 pounds and then I just had a lot of loose skin. Shadi has seen me naked, you guys. I've changed in front of her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we talk about it. And I've shown her, like, this is what I want to do with my boobs. And, like, and just so that everybody knows, like, we're not trying to do it for anybody else. We want to do it because I think it makes us feel good. Like, yeah. it doesn't define, like, our confidence. Like, we think, 
I think I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. You think you're beautiful. And it's just everybody's preference. So if Shadi wants to get a BBL, I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to take her to the doctor and make sure she's all good. And, okay, so with other people, like, you see, obviously, you're on TikTok. You watch TikToks and all that stuff. And you see these girls. And, like, we've talked about it before. Like, oh, this girl's pretty. Like, you know, all that stuff. Does that affect your self-confidence? Like, oh, this person's prettier than me or anything like that? I mean, sometimes I think that. But at the same time, we're all beautiful in our own ways. So, yeah. 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 You have your own way of beauty. Yeah. I love that. Has there any been, like, has there been a person, like, specifically, even when, like, you were younger, like, that affected your confidence? Because of who you were or no? Well, no. No. But I felt like a little jealous of my sister because um, my mom always like cared about her but not me, like, to be honest. Like, yeah. I don't know. I felt that way. I don't know. I just felt that my mom didn't love me that much as my sister. Do you think it was because of maybe your disabilities or? I don't know. I think my disability. Yeah. But your mom loves you. You know yeah. your mom loves you now. And like that we could talk about that because before you moved over here it was really hard, right? At home and you wanted to run away and you asked me for help and you asked us like what do you guys think? And we told you before you left to LA. Yeah. You know, how what's the difference now? Like is it still as hard at home or is it better now that you're in LA? I feel like it's better that I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Your relationship with your mom? Yeah. It, was it always rough when you guys were young? Yeah, it was really rough. Me and my mom be fighting all the time, but at the same time, she's my mom and I have to love her the way she is and I just need to respect her and and I told her how I felt, so you always have to like stay true with yourself and always talk to your parents about us. if they did something wrong and something you should you should tell them and you should let them know. Because if you don't, that's going to be stuck in your head and then, like, you don't know, you know? Right. You don't know when your mom is going to pass away. You just have to tell her. That's true. It's yeah. about communicating. And and I think it's different because your mom's older, right? Yeah. Your mom's older and, like, communicating your feelings to uh, someone older than you is really hard because they don't understand who you are now, like, generation-wise. Um, so... I do think that communicating with your mom is important. And I, I and I told you, I was like, maybe it'll get better for you over here. Like your relationship now, your mom's going to come over here and she's going to come visit you and see what you're up to. She's going to go to your show, right? Yeah. I'm so excited for you. I'm so, so, super, super excited for you. I love that you find yourself so beautiful. And like I said, I love you. I love how beautiful you are and your kind heart. Um, and your confidence is just insane like i feel like i'm pretty confident but you're very confident i needed to like let you know like i think you having that confidence is really really good and i think a lot of people love that about you because you just don't give you don't care about what people think about you right yeah i really don't care i'm just myself that's how my parents taught me mm -hmm. just love yourself and never let nobody get to you because at the end of the day you know who you are and you just need to be positive to yourself. And if you don't like yourself, you have to because that's how you came in the world. So mm -hmm. that's you just need to love yourself how you are. Exactly. You hear it from Shadi Bay herself, you guys. All right, we're going to go on a quick break. And then we're going to talk about TikTok and your roster of boys. Oh, my. <laughs> oh my God. We'll be right back. Bye. All right, Shadi. So we're back. We talked about how you became TikTok famous, right? You have two accounts. Let's just clear that yeah. up. You have two accounts. Yeah. Which ones are they? Um, K Nessa two thousand two, and uh, Shorty Bay official. That's uh, the only accounts. Just in case, if you saw an account that's trying to be me, it's not me, guys. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. She has two accounts, but you have two because of why? Just in case, you know what happens to the first one if it gets bananas or something. I get the second account. Or I don't know. I just like having multiple accounts, not gonna lie. Yeah, she has two accounts. So those are her official accounts. And you've met up with a lot of people, right? Yes, I do. Who did. have you met up with? James Charles. Ooh, who else? 
Um, who else? I've been forgetting because I've been many, meeting All a lot right, of people. We've seen James Charles, which that yeah. collab was fun. Yeah, I went with you to that one, and that one was yeah. that one's a fun one. Uh, Wilito, we've had who else? Cheekies. Cheeky. Oh, your sister. I know. She's so sweet, bro. I love her, bro. <laughs> we've had Cheekies, which we have that Disney date coming up. Everyone yep. thinks that she's not going to take you to Disney, but we she have. She is. Date. You guys just haters, bro. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to Disney. Yep. With a lot of people, but we're not going to tell you guys when because then. We get stalkers and we don't want stalkers. Yeah, that'll be. Sc- I get kind of anxiety to be honest. Yeah, if I see a lot of people. And I since you know. started TikTok, like in meeting up with people, like yeah. your big meet and greet, right? With beauty creations, did you 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 said you got a lot of anxiety from that, yes. right? Yeah. Was it scary for you, or yeah. what? Did, what it did was, it feel like? It was scary because, like, I always was in my room. I never went out with my friends. I never did like fun stuff like that. Like. I never, like, did meeting greets. Like, that was my first experience, and it was really, like, scary. And, like, I felt like I didn't want to be in that room anymore. I just wanted to get out of there. It's not because I don't love you guys. It's just it's because I'm not used to the, like, a lot of people in the same face as me. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not used to it. So I just yeah, need to get used to it. I'm getting used to it, now. Good tonight. Yeah, you were, yeah, you've gotten a lot better. Yeah. But especially because... I don't think you thought that that many people were going to be there, huh? Yeah, I never thought. Like, it was crazy. You shut down the whole mall. I I know. I could not believe it, bro. It was like a dream come true. I never thought a lot of people would love me. Yeah. I was even surprised to see that that many people went, which is good. Like, you see how much influence you have, how many people love you. You left in a cop car. Those sexy cops were taking you. Oh, right. And then you fell. Oh, yeah, I fell. It's (laughs) because... Someone, th- I think, threw water in the floor and then I slipped and fall. So, oh, yeah. But at least you're okay. Yeah. But yeah, I I get social anxiety too, though. Like when I'm with a lot of people, or like I get easily overwhelmed. I'm like, okay, I need a break. I need to go home. I need to, I need to relax. Um, but who has been your favorite person to meet up with? So far, Cheeky is because she's like a really nice person. Like she's like my big sister. She always give me good advice in life, to be honest. She told you to? Yeah. What was the biggest advice she told you? Remember when everything was first happening with Huelito? Yeah. What did she tell you? She t- to stay out of drama. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, but she told you to be nice to him and be yeah. his friend, right? Yeah, but I just want to clarify that me and Juanita always joke around. We don't, like, if you see us fighting on social media, it's just like playing around. We don't mean it, like, at all. Like, we just play around with each other, and it's funny. <laughs> I just oh, want really? to make you guys laugh. That's why we do it. Yeah. Make you guys but they, laugh. You, sometimes, like, even oh, if uh, I know it's a joke, it feels serious. Like, it scares I know. me. I know. It scares me, too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when I say something to him, bro, it scares me. Sometimes sometimes the things he says is true. Oh, my. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So, you've partnered with a lot of brands already, right? You yeah. had... Um, Forever 21. Forever 21. We did the beauty creations. You have other brands coming up. What is like your dream brand that you want to collab with? Sephora. I want to do Sephora. Ooh. That's my Sephora, you hear her? Get this girl a collab because she loves doing makeup. Anytime. Makeup. She'll wake up like at 7 in the morning to start her makeup for no reason. Yeah. Even though I don't even go out, I freaking <laughs> do it, bro. <laughs> to show you guys how to do makeup, like tutorials, you know. <laughs> Girls that doesn't know how to do it, I just show you guys. Because I love doing makeup. It's so fun. It is. And you do it good. It too. takes me forever, though. When I was in my room, I always like six hours to do my makeup. Six because... I just like dancing. You guys hype me up. Like, I just want to dance all day, bro. <laughs> and then now, now that, okay, say we have a meeting. Yeah. How long is it going to take you? Oh, no. I need to do it this fast, like fast, because that's more important than doing makeup. I need to hurry, hurry. <laughs> yeah. And my my favorite song is 4K. I like 4K. Oh, we need to get you a collab with yeah. El Alpha. Yeah. We that's need- my dream. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my, that's my okay. favorite song. So you're, you're, you're famous. Yeah. You're very famous. How do you know when someone is going to be your friend? Because you meet a lot of people through yeah. TikTok. We met through TikTok. Well, we met through Willito, but we, yeah. I knew you because of TikTok. Um, how do you know when people are going to be like your friends? Or if you don't know, that's fine. But. 
like if they want you to be your friend or just for clout well what i do is get to know them first and like not tell nobody you know you just need to keep your friends like low key if you want to or you can tell the world but i just try to get to know them first before like telling people that I'm friends with them because people always say they're conscious, they're conscious and stuff like that. Like, that's you know, true. no, so. that's true. So how many of those friends have, have been your more than friends? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that one? Because honey, we've talked about all the guys that you've like, you talk to and all that stuff. Like, I don't want you to get heartbroken, right? But how do you know, like, how how do you keep yourself from getting heartbroken? Because you have a lot of guys that like you. Bro, to be honest, bro, yeah, I would I would tell you a secret, guys. <laughs> um, so <laughs> what I do, I mean, right now I don't like nobody. Um, well, I have a lot of guy friends, and people get mad because I hang out with a lot of guys and girls. It's because, um, to be honest, I have friends that are guys. They're hot as hell. Not tonight. <laughs> not that tonight. They're hot, bro. They're hotness. Like, I don't like them like that. Like, um, I just see them as a friend. And, like, I mean, they're cuteness. I mean, they're cuteness for real. But I don't get hurt. Like, to be honest, I protect myself from that because, you know how? I have a lot of options open, you know, <laughs> and I'm not dating nobody. So I'm good. I just have it. I'm trying to have fun. Like, I'm not trying to get in a serious relationship yet. Like, uh-huh. I'm too young for that. I need it's to. It's hot girl summer. Like, it's hot girl summer and I'm a single queen. Look, I'm 20 years old and I'm single still. That's amazing. Like, I just can do whatever I want to do. Okay. With, so like, when you want to get serious, when you yeah. want an actual boyfriend, what do you look for in a boyfriend? Like in a man? I mean, I just want them to have money. Not it's not because I I'm like I'm not trying to use him for money. I mean, I have money myself, but like I'm saying I just need someone to be famous like me. <laughs> I mean, it's cuz if I date someone that has less followers than me, people will be like he's a clown chaser, he's mm-hmm. using you. It's true because I I I like somebody. Like I thought I liked somebody. I met him in Chicago and I thought he was the one, but he's not. He he called me a hoe. He called me this and that. Like, no. Dude, you thought you got to hide me from your story? I couldn't see that? I not thank you. <laughs> you you <laughs> I'm I not thank you. You thought you could use me for that? I not thank you. No, thank you. You know what? Well, I'm a baddie and I have a lot of options open. You thought you were the one. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, no, thank uh, you. No, thank you. I have options. And you're just mad that I have a lot of guy friends and you don't have no, nothing. And you lied to me saying that you didn't have a girlfriend when you did. Ooh. I saw you the messages. Ooh. But go off by yourself anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, guys, oh, don't my. let no guy freaking tell you what to do, who to hang out with. Don't, don't listen to no guy, bro. Just... Love yourself and be yourself, and you, you're richness queen. You just need yourself and nobody else. That's true. That's it. That's true. You heard her. You don't break, they don't break your heart. Yeah. You break their heart. Yep. No, I just want to say I'm single. I'm not dating nobody. If somebody tells you that I'm dating somebody, they're lying. If it doesn't come out of my mouth, then they're lying on my name, to be honest. That is true. That is true. I'm you single. You hear it from her mouth yep. first. So, do you know what a love language is? no no okay so it's the way you like to receive love so it could be the it could be quality time like we spend quality time together or receiving gifts or um acts of service like they do things for you uh or physical touch what do you think well how do you think you like to receive love like what do you like boys to do to you do you like quality time i like all of the things that you said oh words of affirmation you like all of it (laughs) no mostly i like when they call me mommy (laughs) 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 no i like when they whisper in my ear not gonna lie yeah that's freakiness shoddy oh my guys just know i want a guy that's freakiness i'm freaky Okay, so speaking of freakiness, then we're not, you know, my after darks on TikTok, yeah, right? Okay. I love that. I don't get why people get mad at you for asking me all this. I'm I know. Like, like, I like the questions. Okay, so we're not going to get too deep into it. But what, let's see, let me think, let me think of an after dark question. Have you had a wet dream? 
Yes. Yes? I did. How long ago? Um, a couple of weeks ago. No. Okay. Next, we'll do one more. Should I say the name? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't say the name. Just know it's a close friend. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> is it who I think it is? I think so. <laughs> oh my okay do you do you have a favorite position um yeah i do what is it uh, <laughs> um doggy style mm. <laughs> oh my that's okay that's mine too don't worry no, don't I want worry. to. I want to not go to nice guys. Shh, don't, don't snitch on me. I want to do it in the hot tub. <laughs> the hot tub, honey, but you can get like an infection. I think. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> That's why I always use condoms, guys. For real. That's true. Yeah. That's true. We, we everybody don't get pregnant. Use We're too youngness in this point of view. I know. All right. Well, so I created. I wanted to start the podcast because I like to ask the hard questions, right? Did you feel like they were pretty, like, good questions? Yeah, it was good questions. And get into things deep. And because I feel like a lot of people don't know who Shadi is. Like, is there anything that, you know, you want people to know? Like, also, what what are your plans for the future? Like, what business ideas do you have? Like, things that people don't know about you that you could share with everybody. Well, I want to start my business. I want to do a clothing brand. I want to do like makeup and stuff like that. I don't know. I want to do so much things, to be honest with you. I want to start my merch. Pretty soon I'm going to have merch. Um, I want to do like my clothing brand and like I love makeup, so I want to do makeup. And I want to make perfume. Ooh. Perfume is my favorite. I love putting Gucci perfume all over. I brand. love that. I love that. Yeah. All right. Before we come back. Well, actually, we'll go on break and then we'll come right back so that way we could share a couple little things and then we'll be done. Right. All right. We'll be right back, you guys. All right. So we're back from the break. And I was thinking, Shadi, we're, we've talked about like your life with social media, TikTok and all that stuff. Right. What was life like before social media, before you got into Musical.ly, before you met Jose, before all this stuff? What did like what was your day to day? How was it at home? All those things. I mean, it was good. I mean, my dad and mom separated when I was two years old, but she took care of me still. My dad went to work. Um, my sister took care of me because my mom went to work, too. She was like my second mom and stuff like that. I mean, it was good. I don't remember that much when I was little, that much. But I feel like it was really good. Was it hard for you when, like, your parents separated? Because I grew up, obviously, you like, you know my mom, you know. We had the reality show and stuff like that. So I was kind of born into, like, all of this. And obviously, you grew up with having to create something for yourself, right? Was it hard when they separated? No, I was two, so I didn't feel oh, okay. anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my, my parents separated, I think, when I was four. Um, and that was it. It wasn't that hard. But I get what you mean. Um, did you think that five years ago, did you ever think that this would have, this is where your life would be at? I never thought this was going to be like no. this. Like, it's like crazy, right? Yeah. Like, you have a lot of people everywhere we go, like, Someone is recognizing Shadi and who she is, and it's just crazy. It's just really crazy that, and I'm so proud of you because you are handling it. You know, we've worked on it. Yeah. We've worked on it. We're trying to make it better, but, like, you've been so good at handling it. Um, But what do you think has been, like, the hardest thing for you, like, in general? Like, is it keeping the private life and then your social media life? It's kind of hard keeping it, like, my private life, like, in the back because, I don't know, I just like telling people how my life is all the time. Yeah. I don't know. It's really hard for me, but at the same time, I need to keep it privately. Yeah. yeah. We can't share everything because yeah. then people take advantage. Yeah. And then they use those those 
vulnerabilities as a weapon against us. Um, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two brothers and one sister. Do you have a favorite? My little brother. Your little brother? Yeah, I always tell him my stuff. Being in LA, do you miss them? Yeah, I miss my family, to be honest. I've been kind of depressed, not going to lie. Yeah. Because I miss my family. Do you miss, but do you miss your family or your old life in Minnesota? No, I don't miss my old life. I did not like it over there. No. What I was your least favorite thing? Just being arguments with my mom all the time and stuff. I can't share other stuff that's going on there. But the only thing that I can say is my life is better here. Yeah. Yeah. You've met a lot of good people. You've yeah. met, like, you could say, like, we're your family, right? Or no. No. <laughs> well, we're, we could be friends. We're all your friends. We love taking care of you. And it's different. I understand that it's different. And I'm happy because I know the struggles that you went through with your family and, you know, all that stuff. But is there anything that you want to say to your coconuts or to your family that you want them to remember you by? If my family is watching me, I just want to tell them I love them so much. And I'm doing this for my family and I'm for myself because I love my family, even though like, I had issues with them. But at the same time, now I told my mom how I really felt and she understands me and she's really proud of me. And I just want to tell you guys to like not attack my family, you know, because they're my family in this point of view. And I love them how they are. Um, and family matters the most than anything, and, like, that's how it needs to be. And thank you, my little coconuts, for always believing in me. I never thought I would be this far, to be honest. Without you guys, I'm a nobody, not gonna lie. Thank you so much for always being so positive with me and always loving me how I am. And thank you for coming all this way. Yay. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? I mean, getting married, <gasps> having kids. You're uh, at 25? I'm 25. I'm not really? even married. Yes? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what my life is going to be that day, but maybe married or something. I don't know. Oh, my. Do you uh, want to live in L.A. forever or you want to go back to Minnesota? Hell no. I'm not going to that <laughs> <laughs> place. I'm going to stay here or maybe I will move somewhere else, but I don't know yet. I'm not there yet, so how would I know? So That's true. We should just wait until I be 25. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about your goal for social media? What's, like, your goals for five years? In five years, I want to see Shadi Bay where? I want to have a mansion. <gasps> I want to buy my mom a mansion. First, I want to buy my mom a mansion, and then my brother his dream car, and then my, like, my mansion I want and, like, stuff like that. Ooh. Then I can think about myself, you know? Aww. First, my family comes first. Well, then me. That's so beautiful. Yeah. I wish, sometimes I wish that I had my mom so I can buy her a house too, or a oh. car. So I'm really happy that you shared that because that's important. Even with like all the stuff that you have going on with your mom and your family, like you're still thinking about taking care of her. And I love that. Yeah. Well, Shadi. Thank you so much for joining the Overcomer podcast. Did you like it? Yes. You I felt did. good? Yeah. You were, you were, she was pretty nervous. She was pretty shy. I, at the I beginning. needed to take that out of my chest, to be honest. Is there anything stuff. else you want to get off your chest? Um, well, just know that I'm not a hoe because you keep <laughs> saying I'm a hoe. Uh, I just want to clear that out. If nothing comes out of my mouth, then, you know, I will always tell you guys the truth because that's how I am. I always tell the truth. I never lie, too. I'm a funny person. And those of you that think I'm mean, I'm not mean. I'm just, I don't know how I'm, I'm just like that. I don't know. You just have I'm, a strong character. Yeah. I just, I'm trying to, they're trying to help me to like be better person, you know? Yeah. Because sometimes I can be rude. That's not lie. <laughs> I'm rude. <laughs> but I just like playing around with people. Like people don't take my jokes in this point of view. I like joking around at this point. Do you have any projects coming up, Shadi? Well, I'm going to collab with, um, right now I'm going to collab with, um, Pollo Loco. <gasps> That's my favorite place. Yeah. I just ate Pollo Loco. It was so delicious at this point of view. Yeah, we had Pollo Loco I had some started. churros. Ooh. Anything else? Oh, yeah. I'm going to start my merch soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, and we have the Waka merch. Waka Kaka. 
And then it says, okay, but go off. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. You need to buy it for real. Okay, share your social so that everybody can find you and follow well, you. My social is, is Knessa2002. It's K-N-E-S-S-A-2002. So yeah, that's all my social videos. No other account. And my main account is like my, like, Knessa2002 is like my backup, but I think it's my main now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but my other TikTok account is Shorty Bay Official. That's the only account I have, so just let you know. Yay! Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to this podcast. Thank you so much, Shadi, for You're coming welcome. on. I loved having you. Make sure you guys subscribe, give it a like, leave a review on whatever platform you listened to your podcast on and we'll see you guys in the next episode and don't forget to follow over comfort podcast on social media we'll see you guys later bye guys <laughs>